So just a quick lesson on this piece. Um, it's a really well-known melody, so make sure you practice that melody all on its own. So keep practicing that melody until it's it's really smooth and remember like this is a easy like fingerstyle or, or classical guitar arrangement of the piece with students in mind so there's really not a lot else going on besides the melody occasionally i'll add a little bass line or a little bit of accompaniment but for the most part it's all about the melody so if, if your melody doesn't isn't smooth and doesn't sound good then there's going to be very little hope for the piece right so make sure you, you make that melody sound really beautiful on its own if you're reading the music notation, then it's the stems going, it's the notes with stems going up. If you're not reading the tablature, then it's the upper, upper line. Um, so really work on that. And then you're just gonna be fitting in some of the chord shapes that go along with it, mainly in first position, but there's one or two spots where the melody gets up a little bit high. So most of the bass notes just with your thumb, some of the accompaniment with your I finger, and the rest is just alternating I am or M A fingers. Um, so the melody is all just alternating fingers, bass notes with your thumb, some accompaniment fingers uh, will just be thrown in with the I, accompaniment notes will be thrown in with the I finger. Here you have to make sure that you grab your A and then you have to grab the E with your first finger so it's a little irregular. Now it's not possible to sustain that open D before the melody comes in again. So you have two choices. Um, if you're more of a, on the beginner side, um, I would recommend just letting it stop. So. And just let the melody pick up the momentum. If you're a more advanced player, you could do something like uh, something like close the D. So that would be putting playing the D on the fifth string of the fifth fret with your fourth finger. So sorry. That way you could sustain that low D and the melody. But like I said, um, that might be a little bit out of the realm of what this, the point of the arrangement is, which is mainly aimed at um, early intermediate or, or late beginner students, or students just, or people just wanting gig material or something. So um, if you do stop the sound of the D, just make sure you, you give it a little bit of time. pick up that melody. Um, it's at the end of a phrase, so it really doesn't disrupt it much. I, I don't feel bothered by it, so to, I would play it the way that I've written it, um, but if you want to experiment with playing it up here, um, I say go for it. Now there's one other spot where the melody gets really high, so this is going into bar 14. So you can play it down here. Um, if you wanted to just get comfortable with that shift, but another option would be 
So you can play the D on the third string of the seventh fret. And that way you won't have to shift during that melody. So you can either do it in first position, but you have to deal with that shift in the middle of a melody. It's definitely doable, but um, not so easy. And then, or, a little bit easier, um, but you have to get there beforehand. So I'll let you decide. On the way back down, make sure you use your fourth finger so that you can grab those notes. You need to hold on to this note while grabbing the next notes in order for it to be smooth and legato. So that's in bar 14. Um, it's a pretty straightforward piece, but that melody does have a pretty big range, so um, just make sure that you've really worked on the melody a lot until it's completely um, smooth and you, you have it sounding the way you would sing it or the way you like it. And then just throw in the other notes and don't let those other notes disrupt the melody at all. So I'll be doing more on little easy arrangements as well for the site, just to kind of fill out the student, the earlier, like early intermediate student level area.